Hi everyone. This is a preview to the lecture video on available on ultrasound educational website www.sonoshare.in short snippets of the various uh, parts of the video will follow after seeing the preview if you wish to uh, listen to the uh, entire video please log on to monoshare.in and listen to the entire video so this is how uh, this lecture is divided side of the septum pellucidum we see the frontal horns closely opposed connections to both the medial and the basolateral does not communicate the csp does not communicate with the subarachnoid space or with the ventral cavity outside then resolution endovaginal scan then you will see the genu of the corpus callosum uh, uh, columns of the fornices which are seen at the posterior inferior end of is main the main component is the k or later than 37 weeks is a normal finding so when the tapir strangle then it is at the largest uh, uh, distance that is at the if it is less than 1.5 then it is taken as an abnormal shape of the cavity outside Uh, mimicking the goat horn, the CSP. So it is more posterior and cephalic to the CSP. So uh, you see two lines mimicking septum pellucidum on either side, but anterior <coughs> aspect of the uh, midline. Evidence is put forth regarding the. Uh, so all this may be affected, or uh, the abnormality of the abnormalities. One on the left side. is ab absent anterior complex so these features point to uh, agenesis of corpus callosum so once you see this scan uh, around 30 weeks because the salsen gyri are there uh, fissure and the the the, the thalamus also is unclean so these are the features of a uh, posterior uh, cerebrum seen by the come to the last uh, type of holoprosen cephaly that is the middle interhemispheric variant which is uh, these are the features of septal agenesis so we have to differ uh, uh, anomaly scan time you see the optic asthma in the coronal plan coronal scan so because normal optic asthma is seen it is a case of uh, isolated septal agenesis occurred causes of um, uh, abnormal uh, absence shield Uh, agenesis of corpus callosum and malformations of cortical development has been proved to be uh, a feature of uh, 22q11 uh, micro deletion so this so here this fetus turned out to be partial agenesis of corpus see uh, the uh, distortion of the appearance of the and you see the goat shaped frontal horns uh, normal which is uh, one of the abnormality when see when you see it giving that a uh, dysmorphic appearance uh, which is uh, very frontal horns and um, uh, the uh, concavity is inward p then absent septal pellucidum giving a um, uh, single uh, frontal horn having gone through the preview if you wish to listen to the main lecture video go to sonoshare.in